Well, hello there, everybody. We're actually right outside of Bryce Canyon right now. Uh, check out all this awesome canyon land. That's our next stop. Tommy is currently, well, he's on top of the car right now. We're sticking a GoPro to the car right here so we can get this super rad drive in. And yeah, that's gonna be our hike day in Bryce Canyon. Checking out all these absolutely amazing views. And as always, you guys are gonna come along. Stick around to the end of the video to enter to win a legend bracelet. Alright, what's up you guys? We are in Bryce Canyon right now in southern Utah. About to knock out a super rad hike in Canyon Land. I'm currently just putting on some stuff because we've been hiking in Park City and it's been cold and it's like 75 here and very, very hot. So, putting on some better hiking stuff, but yeah. About to knock this out. We're at the visitor center right now. Lots of Lots of tourists, lots of people staring at my port, wondering, oh my lord, what's that on that young man's chest? But you get used to it after a while. Yeah, super amazing views coming up. I'll be filling my legend bracelet today with dirt from this area, so you're not gonna wanna miss this giveaway, so stay tuned to the end of this video. Well, if any predators run up on us, we have a defense mechanism. <laughs> my mountain Maltese. <laughs> She'll take anything on. Today on what inappropriate hiking shoes am I wearing? Rockin' vans. So in the last vlog, you guys got Henry the Mountain Goat. Today, you got Charlie the Chipmunk. And uh, Boo just got her first photo taken. Full day. So animals in parks like this, oh shoot, I almost fell. <laughs> Where there's a lot of people, so people often feed them, so they get very used to humans. Not supposed to do that, don't do that. But because they are so used to humans, you can get some rad shots just like that. But yeah, the, one of the reasons why is, is you want them to be able to fend on themselves, but also like like little guys like that carry all kinds of diseases. So all it takes is like a little bite when they're just trying to eat food, and it could end up as bad news bears. So just let wildlife be wildlife. Keep your distance.
And so right now we're at like probably around 7,500 feet elevation ish. Yeah, where we started was 8,000, like right on the nose. And we've dropped a lot on those zigzag paths. And so it's not not really a tough hike today on the lungs, uh, which is good because I'm actually tight chested right now, but I didn't feel like doing a treatment before I left the car. But the good thing about getting out and doing these hikes is it's just kind of like natural, like lung therapy. It gets everything moving. <clears throat> and doing hikes like this gets your lungs and or gets everything in your lungs moving way better than, you know, any vest treatment or anything ever does. So if you do have the lung capacity to get out, do hikes like this, do cool shit, I highly recommend it. It's so good for you. And not just for your physical health, but hikes like this, being out in nature, it's so good for your mental health. Like, it just kind of brings, brings everything together. Which is another bummer kind of about North Carolina, because there's rad places to hike there, but they're very, it's very hard to get to them. So, it's a lot of driving, and then there's not, it's just not as scenic. Maybe some people think the Smoky Mountains are very scenic and rad looking, but... Maybe it's just, I've grown up there. I've seen them a lot, but to me, nothing beats the views kind of heading west. Like you just, you just can't beat it. Check that out. Absolutely epic. What's up guys? We're here in Bryce Canyon in southern Utah. And it's that time of the vlog again for another Legend Bracelet giveaway. As you can see, this is the view where the dirt is coming from today. Pretty epic. Like, We've gotten so lucky the last couple hikes we've done. You can't really beat the weather and the conditions that we've got. So I'm gonna fill this bad boy up real quick from this spot. All right, boom. We got it filled. So if you guys want to enter to win this legend bracelet, all you gotta do is let me know where uh, where you'd like me to go next. Where's somewhere you guys would like me to video and explore and uh, show you around at. So all you gotta do is just leave that in the comments below and be sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel and I'll pick a random winner to get today's legend bracelet from right here, beautiful Bryce Canyon. All right, we're almost to the end, but all the elevation gains right here at the end and still tight chested so it's real fun but it's all right as the saying goes mama didn't raise no bitch Just finished the hike. It was like 
What was that, two? How many miles? It's like 3.2. 3.2. And to see, that shows that it's funny how CF is day to day. So like the last hike that we did, the elevation gain, how steep it was, all that, it was way harder than this. This was just like a leisurely stroll. But I feel like I was struggling more today than I was on the other hike because I was so damn tight chested. Which if I would have done on albuterol before I went, probably would have been better, but usually I can just like work it out and kind of move the stuff, but <coughs> it's not a bad tight chested. Why I'm tight chested today is because I'm moving a lot of the mucus out of my lungs with all this climbing and my exercise we've been doing. And so as it starts to move out of your lower airways, it kind of starts getting kind of stuck in all the other ones and you just kind of have to get it up. So it was, it was good though. It wasn't anything bad. Like this is already opening me up and I feel fine now. And that just shows that like, just because something's like super hard when you have CF, like something that's pretty simple might be hard, but you never know. But we still cranked it out like the, the trail when we started said it was going to be like a three hour trail, it's like an hour and a half. Maybe if you're like the tourist here who walk like one mile per hour and have to take a picture. Richard, take my picture right here. This will look great. Send it to the grandkids. Send it to them. God damn it, Margaret. I don't know how to use this. If you're those people, then yeah, takes you a while. We cranked it out pretty good though. You got some rad ass footage. Hey guys, I want to show you something. Look at this. If you look over there in that car, there's a open Tecate. That's a beer. They're drinking beer while driving. Uh-oh. Alright. So running back to this little overlook. As you guys know, I'm sponsored by Aflovest. So, going to get a couple product shots for them. Gonna get a lot of stairs, but it's okay. The Aflovis is on right now too, so I'm just doubling up my airway clearance today. You can't beat it. We're on the way now to try to find a bar that has a game on uh, because Atlanta Falcons play tonight. Yes. You know we're probably gonna lose. Still, you gotta keep, you gotta keep the faith. Okay. Yeah, but I can stay with them no matter what. And then, uh, and then we're on our way to another hike, and that'll be another vlog. And I'm not gonna tell you where, but it's another canyon, and some would say it's quite grand. <laughs> we're on the way now. Heading, uh, heading out of the park to try to find a place, so yeah. Should be, uh, should be pretty sweet. Sweet. I just know I'm ready for somewhere. I would like a nice fizzy Coca-Cola and something greasy. I always want, like, after a hike, I just want the, literally the most unhealthy thing I can think of. Like, just give, just give me a bag of shredded cheese and just dump it in a frying pan. Fry the shit out of it and bring me a fizzy fountain Coca-Cola and just let me eat the fucking fried cheese. I'm like, I'd be totally fine. What that. if you fried cheese and then deep fried the fried cheese? Oh my god. That would that'd be amazing. And then you just keep adding layers of stuff so that you can mush up some tater tots or something. Put that in there. Fry that. Just keep adding layers upon layers of things. God. Did yeah. you want to go to the visitors? You can you can totally tell we may or not be may or may not be stoners. Was no, there was no CBD or THC on that hike, which probably would have helped a lot, but I didn't even think about it. It wasn't bad on the way down, but going back up, the tight chestedness, because you're really working those lower lobes and like really breathing heavy, that's when I could feel it. But you, you just gotta, you just gotta push through. Like it sucks. It's not, it's definitely not easy. And I feel like a lot of people with CF kind of sell themselves short because They'll feel very winded, very tight chested, feel that burning in their chest and all that. And they just want to give up. They're just like, I can't do it, can't do it, can't do it. You can't. You just kind of have to like mentally just push yourself through it. It's okay to take breaks. Like, don't try to keep up with people. Go at your own pace. And when you actually complete it, it feels great. Even if it's a small thing. Even just like that little thing we just did. It's rad. Good. Adventure Girls, there's just something about them. They are just bow like they're the pinnacle of like good looking. I don't know what it is. I don't know what it is. 
If there's any adventure ladies that watch my YouTube and you'd like a like a partner, an adventure partner, hit me up. You know, and, you know, we could make a lot of money on YouTube, possibly open a Pornhub, you know, whatever, whatever, whatever floats our boat, you know. That was insane. Falcons win. It's one to one. Uh, about to do the breathing treatments. We are sleeping in the van tonight. So we're in the parking lot of the bar that we were just in. I'm gonna sleep in here. Tomorrow, head to our next destination. So, yeah, Tommy's already sleeping back here. But yeah, thank you guys for checking out the vlog. Uh, be sure to like, be sure to subscribe, and I will see you on the next vlog. What a day. <sighs> Love you all. Morgan, out of here. Later.